Hi everyone, uh, this is Abena. I'd like to thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel, Embrace Natural Beauty, where it is my goal to share with you simple tips and techniques that have been helpful to me in my very own natural hair journey that have helped me to maintain my hair, keep it in good condition so that I retain length. I get to enjoy my hair and I want that for you as well. I want you to be able to maintain your hair, keep it in good condition, enjoy your hair as you retain length and embrace the natural beauty of your own. So I'm showing you this on camera and going through the summary because I realized when looking and editing the footage that I forgot to hold the containers up as I was applying it to my hair. Yeah, I know, bad me, bad me. Um, but I wanted to also let you know that today is day five of week three using these products. So I've got a, um, a consistent run with the products for the past three weeks during this humid climate here in New York City. And, um, and here, stay tuned for my review and you will also see some product applications. So I hope you enjoy. So let me start with the Butter Than Love Pudding. This is the container uh, that I got or have been using for the past three weeks. It's completely done. Um, this is a four ounce container. It also comes in an eight ounce container, which is I got in my, new, my next shipment. So this is the eight ounce container of the Butter Than Love pudding. It is a nice creamy um, product. It's smooth and very soft. And I'm going to show you me applying it on my hair, but right now I'm just going to show you as I put it on my skin, I put a whole bunch, but you can see I put a whole bunch on my skin and you can actually um, just rub that in and it spreads very nicely, just like a lotion. I put a whole lot in one spot, really don't need that much. But yeah, it will blend right into the skin. The Butter Than Love Pudding is an excellent moisturizer because it includes the elements of the LLC, your liquid oil and cream, in that with ingredients such as the aloe barbadensis leaf juice, the castor oil, and shea butter. It is creamy, smooth, and soft. It spreads well, as you saw earlier. There are no flakes or residue, and because there's no added fragrance, you do have a slight sense of aloe, castor, and shea butter. And then finally, it melts very nicely into the hair, especially into the low porosity section of my hair, leaving it more moisturized than normal, and it remains soft even after seven days of heat and humidity. This is the Curl Control Styling Lotion and I've been using this as well for the past three weeks and I have completely finished this bottle. Uh, this is an eight ounce size bottle with a pump for easy application. It is called a lotion and it is called a lotion appropriately because it literally feels like a lotion but behaves like a gel because it does give you good curl definition. So if I pump it out for you, you can actually see the hold is not dripping, it's fairly thick, right? So if I take this, <clears throat> I take my two fingers and I go like that, you can kind of see what it's doing. And then if I rub it in, like I rub it on my hand, it's um, it's a little heavier than the pudding, but it is still like a lotion. <laughs> so I'm just going to rub it on my hands. Um, it's not sticky, it's not tacky. The Curl Control Styling Lotion feels like a lotion, acts like a gel. It's not sticky or tacky. It gives you a soft, fluffy finish with no crunch. There's a light, sweet fragrance. It kind of reminds me of when you go to the pool and you smell that nice um, pool aroma. Not the chlorine, but just the pool area. Um, it That's what it kind of reminds me of, but a light, sweet fragrance. There's no flakes, no frizz. It gives you excellent curl definition, hold and shine. So it holds your style, held my style for a full seven days and it absolutely retains moisture. I sat under the hooded steamer for 30 minutes then I shampooed and conditioned my hair. Now I'm rinsing the conditioner out and saturating my hair with water before applying the product. And please know, I keep my hair soaking wet. I do not remove any excess water before I apply product. So I'm applying the product to wet hair. I separate my hair into five sections, and so I'm starting with the right front section to apply the Butter Than Love pudding. And as you can see, I apply um, liberally, pretty much, and it melts, like I said, very easily into the hair. And what I do is I, I do this several times just to make sure I get the product to pass through from the side where I applied it 
to the other side. And then I'll go through and I notice I'll open it up and see if I need to put some in the middle, like I did. And continue to work it through until I have it completely moisturized. And now I feel like it's completely moisturized. I'm going to check one more time to see if there's any area left untouched by the product. And I do notice that my low porosity uh, section right in the front uh, needs more attention. So that's what usually happens. It takes longer to get moisture into there or any products into there. So I'm squeezing it and pressing it in and helping it to uh, further absorb into that particular section. After making sure the moisturizer is fully applied, now I'm going to move on to applying the styler. As you can see, I'm giggling because I'm heavy handed. I already put two squirts in my hands and now I'm going to apply starting at the ends and working my way up. I like to start at the ends because I want to make sure the hair does not retangle as I'm applying product. And after just that small bit of application, I see I have some crazy definition is what I just said and I laughed. So now I'm going ahead and doing another squirt or two. I think I'm doing two squirts here. I'm going to lift up my hands and I'll see. Yes, that, that looks... Actually, that's one squirt. And so I'm putting that on my hair as close to the roots as possible. I never apply product on the scalp. I make sure it just gets on the hair and I'm going to now work that through and you can see how easily and how smoothly it works through. Again, like I mentioned earlier, there's no tackiness with this product. There's no stickiness and it really does behave um, it really does behave like a gel in that it holds, but it feels like a lotion. So it's going on really smooth and I'm just pulling it through. And I can pretty much tell it's getting through to, you know, from the top down to the bottom because of how um, much flatter it is when it starts to lose, you know, the puffiness. I can tell it's really getting through, but I do have um, some portions of low porosity in the front right section as well as in the front left section so I'm going to reapply product in what I call my special areas because it needs you know more work wherever I see it's a little puffy I'm applying more product and now that the product is fully on the hair I'm going to go ahead and start the rake and smooth method And as I'm doing this, I'm just making sure those ends are well defined. And that looks good to me. So now I'm going to speed this up a little bit, um, going through, checking for any hairs that are kind of sticking out on their own that are not well gathered with the others because I have some resistant hairs in this low porosity portion up here. Even though I added more product, I still noticed that it was a little puffy. So this is where I've begun to start using hairpins to lay down my hair in the front sections where it gets puffy because it's just very resistant um, to any product that I use. Low porosity is not absorbing well. So by putting these pins in, I'm allowing the roots to lay down more as they dry. Fast forward, my entire hair is pretty much finished. I usually do a once over again in the low porosity section at the crown. So you can see as I'm running my hand over, you may be able to see it's a little puffier because it just really does not absorb um, at the first two inches close to the root. Pull the product through and get some softness, get some definition, get some type of curl going on. But I'm really happy with the results that I got there and always checking for any little imperfections. With my hair fully set, I allowed it to air dry, and here I am several hours later, I think about four hours later, fully air dried, near some good movement. My hair is nice and soft and curly, I love it. And I'm also gonna share with you the montage that I shared in the previous video of the selfies that I took throughout weeks one and two. And just so you know, I went a full six days on the first week and washed my hair on day seven. And the second week, I went a full seven days and washed my hair on day eight. And I'm currently in day seven six of week three with beautiful gorgeous curly hair with no frizz and so here again is the summary of the two products and my social media contact information so stay connected with me and as always thank you for watching